When it comes to growing on your live streaming platform of your choice, probably the biggest complaint I hear from any live streamer out there is it's hard to grow. It's hard to get discovered. It's hard to get an audience to watch me. And I understand this because we've all been there, which is why in this video, I'm going to share with you some really, really simple tips and tricks that I guarantee will start to get people to trickle it into your stream. So that way you'll get discovered and start growing your audience. Trust me, you're going to want to see this one. But first, a word from our sponsor. Look, one of the best things you can do to really make your channel stand out is invest in custom graphics that's going to make your channel pop and be rememberable. And the best place for this is Fiverr, where you get to work one-on-one -on -one with an artist to get custom graphics that's really gonna make your channel stand out. Need awesome emotes? They have that. Need some cool overlays or alerts? They got that too. Or perhaps you want an awesome design to go on your merchandise. Yeah, they got that too. And since you're watching this video, I'm gonna help you out even more. You can use the link down below and use the coupon to save even more money. That's just a little gift from me to you. Now, back to our video. When it comes to growing your channel or just even getting discovered with live streaming, it's important I show you how these techniques work, but it's also extremely important I show you why they work. So that way you can apply them to your specific needs. So with that said, let's dive right into it. If you're a live streamer, you've heard from numerous people out there to don't stream saturated games or directories. And I mean, it makes sense. More competition means it's harder for you to stand out, but this is too generic nowadays. What we really wanna do is refine this advice down. And I like to say, stay away from top shelf games or top row games when you sort by concurrent viewership on your platform of choice like Twitch. Now, the reason why this is important is because when you click into one of these top shelves or top row of games, it's just too hard for you to stand out because you'll be so far down on the list, no one's really gonna go there. And you know, gamers, live streamers, viewers, we're all pretty lazy. We don't scroll that far. We only do a few scrolls. And if you're not gonna be within that first page or those first few scrolls, gonna be really hard for you to stand out. All right, so what do we do for staying away from top row and top shelf games? I want you to concentrate on games that are between 20,000 viewership and 5,000 viewership. If you have a little bit of a falling, I would say 20 to 10K is good. If you're just starting out, 10K to 5K is even better for you. And what this is gonna do is it allows people to really kind of explore the platform, but they don't have to scroll too far to find something that they're gonna be interested in, which is gonna take us into our next tip. Once you've narrowed down your selection with directories or games, you wanna click in those games and directories. And with tip number two, you wanna see what happens after the top five streamers in that game or directory. What we're looking for is to see if there is a drastic drop off off number five or around number five, if you will. Generally, the top slots of streamers within a gaming directory are partners or people with notoriety. And what you wanna see is a streamer that has a few hundred or a few thousand viewers watching them, but then the next person after that has maybe like half or it trickles down a lot. And then the next streamer after that does the same thing and the same thing and the same thing to about slot number five. And the reason this matters is because generally after slot number five, after it's been halved enough times or there's been enough trickle, it starts to get to the lower teens and sometimes even single digits, which is where you can stand out drastically. And this is huge because within about slot number six, you can be seen without even scrolling or just within a simple scroll to where you can stand out. Now there's also a nice side kicker to this because when there's the top five streamers that are partners or people with notoriety, a lot of people that are watching that streamer at that moment aren't just fans of that streamer, they're fans of that game. So when that streamer ends, those people are generally gonna click back and look for another streamer within that same directory that they can enjoy watch that same game or directory for someone new. And that could be you. I like to call this partner runoff because this happens a lot when a streamer ends, which means people will discover you in huge chunks. Tip number two does come with a little bit of a warning or something to look out for that I need to mention. If you go into a game or directory and the top streamer is pulling in pretty much all the viewership and streamer number two, three, four, and five only have really small single digits, 
you don't want to stream that game because literally all the people that are in that gamer directory are there for that one streamer and you're probably not going to get much runoff so you want to look for something that has a steady decline and still a good cluster of streamers that is in there because that means it's going to be supported through the entire time that you'll be streaming that game and or directory tip number three is perhaps one of my favorite ones because it can really be a huge impact for your discoverability but lead to long-term growth in a big trend for you. I want you to be on the lookout for games and directories that are on the drop and the pop. What are drops and pops and pops and drops? It's basically games that fall out of favor but still have a cult following to them where you can build a base and an audience. And what we wanna take a look at is if those games are gonna have an upward trend in the future. Generally, that's brought on by patches, DLCs, or they just fix the game entirely, or other streamers get into the game that give it a nice upward lift and trend. Two great examples of this is Minecraft and Apex Legends. Minecraft fell out of favor when Fortnite came along and when it was trickling down right before the opening of Mixer, but got two huge bumps when Mixer opened up, reinvigorating the game, and also when Mixer closed and all the streamers moved to Twitch, reinvigorating it again. Apex Legend is a great story about how a developer stuck with the game. People got a little tired of the game. Apex Legends came out with new patches, new updates, new DLC, which has revitalized the game. Both these games have had huge impacts and gotten bigger viewer ratios. Minecraft alone in the past year has gone up 12.6%, where Apex Legends has gone up 6.6%. That means more people are coming into these directories, staying for longer and watching more people. And that could be you. So if you can get in where it finds a nice base, and if you think the game's going to have a better upward trend, this can be super huge for someone like you. This is where people go from being Twitch streamers to Twitch affiliates, affiliates to partners, partners to professionals. I'm telling you, this is a good tip. If you plan on using these three tips, by the way, you should, because they actually work. You need to make sure you apply them before you hit that go live button, which means you have to do a little bit of research. Look at the categories and directories on your live streaming platform before you go live. Are they in favor with the tips that we gave you? Are they going down? Are they going up? Are they falling in favor? Are they falling out of favor? Take this all into consideration so that way you're making smarter moves for when you're broadcasting because your time is important and I want you to get discovered and I want you to grow an audience. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a bonus tip here. On top of all these tips that we just gave, I think you can actually multiply your discoverability and growth if you can find a gamer directory that's centered around multiplayer games. People love coming to Twitch for the community aspect and within that community aspect, is being able to play with others. So if you can find games that fall within these top top three tips and it's a multiplayer game, you have something there that could be really, really awesome for you that can get you some even better explosive growth. Now, if you need more awesome tips, hey, that's what my channel's chock full about. You can hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so my videos go live for you. You can also use the affiliate links down below. They help my channel, they cost you nothing. And you can watch these videos right over there that are going to make your channel, are, is, is going to make your channel even better. Videos are tough, I'm thirsty, it's lunchtime, and I will see all of you people in the next video. Take care, and of course, peace.